Hey y'all, it's Friday, so I stopped by the store to pick up just a few things. I know it's Labor Day weekend. We we back in the day we would be having family reunions, but things have changed and you know because of COVID and everything, I'm not even barbecuing. So I did a quick pickup. Have y'all ever tried the lemonade by Hawaiian Punch? I didn't know Hawaiian Punch had a lemonade, so I want to try that. I got these potatoes. Oh, this was $1.77. These potatoes were $2.47 for a 10-pound bag. Remember the other time I got it was $1.99 for five pounds. If y'all know my son, nobody y'all don't know this, but every Friday he likes canes. So I got strawberries. They weren't on sale. I paid $2.98 for these strawberries, but they're pretty. Got the wrong thing. I got the no sugar added. I don't like stevia added to my fruit. I like them in their 100% juice. So I'm going to take this back because I got some things I need to go in the store and actually get. I got this Golden Brook um, pecan praline ice cream. I want to try it. I got an all butter pound cake by Sarah Lee. It's got some good reviews, but I got that to go with my strawberries and cool whip. And you know what? You don't even have to put sugar on your strawberries. It's good just to cut them up fresh and put it on that pound cake with the cool whip, and it is so good. This hamburger helper, we like the deluxe be stroking off. I, and I've learned to make it from scratch too, but I'm not this time. And I also got the chicken helper. It's a chicken fried rice. I'm going to try it, but I'm going to actually use shrimp. Um, I got the Fiora. These paper towels were $3.99. And I like to put these in my bathrooms. Um, the big ones from Sands, I prefer those, you know, like in the kitchen. Uh, the barbecue sauce was $0.97. Cents. I got Sweet Honey and I got Original. And then I also got the Vagisil Odor Block. And then I switched to the Summer Z Spray and the Freshening Cloths. I like to have these at work. Uh, I can't keep in my purse. The thing is too big in my purse is full. So these two things I keep in my bathroom at work. That's it. I just wanted to come on and say hi. My prayers are going to all those who have lost loved ones and lost possessions during the, storm, uh, the Hurricane Ida. People have been relocated. And I actually saw one of my old church members. She moved to New Orleans years ago. And um, she was on uh, the Today Show this morning. And she was saying that her car, she can't move her car. Because a pole fell on it and she don't have any water and the utility. She said she's tired of crying. So my heart goes out to them. And I'm just praying that God send them some relief really, really soon. Because I have been displaced, but you know, at the fire. But what happened was the place where I was living actually put us up in a hotel. So we, we were okay. And uh, they helped me to move new, to a new place and everything. But y'all, you know, until you've actually been through something like that, can you imagine? One lady said she lost everything. And I think she was eight months pregnant. And so my heart goes out to them and I want to do something. Like uh, some of my neighbors have relatives in from New Orleans uh, who was able to, you know, get out in time because they've been here since last Saturday before the storm came, you know, hit New Orleans. So just keep everybody in your prayers. And you know, I often think about, I think about um, the whole East Coast, that storm went up and affected so many people. I think more people um, were killed in New Jersey in that area than it was in the South. And the, the storm actually hit here, but the remnants and that, all that flooding um, uh, caused some people to drown. There was even an officer on patrol. I think he drowned. And it is just so sad. My heart is going out to everybody affected. And then, it, I, you know, I always, I told y'all, every time we all, as a country, we all as a people go through something, I always think about, about God and, 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 and what's the lesson we can learn. And, you know, I think about this. I remember I went to a funeral and the man said, why do we have to rest in peace? Why can't we live in peace? And I think about it. You know, when things are going good, you see the racial injustices and the division and just bad things happening and people not caring about people. And then the Lord brings something like this and you can't help but care because we're all intertwined. We're all going through the same thing. It's not a Republican or a Democrat or a black or white issue. It's a world. It's a, it's a, it's a um, United States issue and we have to help each other. And, and we just have to get the love back, y'all. We just do. All right, y'all. I don't want to ramble too long, but I just my heart goes out to everybody. And then prayers to Nene Leakes and her boys and her family and Greg's family. Um, everyone whose life he touched. I love Greg because I love the way he carried himself. He never got loud. He was well-spoken. He was cool. He really was.
And he's resting with Jesus now. So prayers out to her family as well. And everybody who's grieving, y'all. God is love. Look to the hills from which come of your help. All your help and all your strength comes from God. Much love. And welcome all my new subscribers, too. It's all love over here. Be blessed. Much love. Bye.